The Landmine Museum, Siem Reap, Cambodia, 2005. How old are you, I asked the boy, sitting there with his cleaver, carving a pole for his Cambodian flag. His pants dangle there where once his leg had been. What a drag. For a boy his age, 16, he answered and then asked me, where are you from? I desperately wanted to say Canada, but that word wouldn't come. So I choked and answered America, softly enough that I hoped he might not hear. But he smiled and nodded and gave me a cheerful nod without a hint of animosity in his eyes. Could he have forgiven or was he even wise to the fact that it was my country that laid out the mind that took his leg long before he was even born that sent him out to beg? That it was my country that refused to sign a treaty to ban the use of those mines that surrounded me everywhere I look with distinctive made in USA signs printed in large letters on the side displayed for all to see with patriotic pride, and all the legs and arms that stood out by their absence, calling attention to themselves in their non-existence, crutches and wheelchairs, think of all the nightmares and the horror that lingers in the minds of those boys and girls with sockets where there once were hands and fingers. I gave the boy a couple of bucks, I wish him luck. Thank you, he says, as he grabs those American greens and shoves them quickly in the pocket of his tattered jeans. Little enough, God only knows. I gave up a beer on Friday night. He gave up a foot and five toes to the landmine that we still refuse to ban. What are we afraid of, some mythical boogeyman? A blind man walks up to me, and I am reminded that it is not only the blind who cannot see. As I call out to my beloved American nation, come on folks, where the fuck is your moral indignation?